Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is your reading for September 2018. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday, sent me messages and gifts. You guys are just amazing. You're the best. Thank you so much for all of you who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed, booked a, booked a personal reading. I absolutely appreciate everyone's support. So let's get started. This is your general reading for the month of September 2018. What is the general energy? General energy for Taurus, September 2018. What is going on with Taurus? Taurus, September 2018. Don't stop. You're trying to finally cut out the bullshit because the last couple readings for you, man, you've had some toxic people, shady people trying to mess with you. Maybe you're in the process of letting go to old, letting go of old habits, old relationships, old people, shit that just does not serve you. One more card, please, for Taurus for the month of September 2018. compromise so yeah you are definitely trying to cut out all these shady freaking people that you've had in your life for quite some time there are some changes that need to be made remember that this is a general reading this can go vice versa if this doesn't resonate with you it could be someone around you or it could be your partner family member whatever it may be so let's see what deck will i use so yeah taurus i'm feeling like you know, you finally got to the point of enough is enough. It's time, to, it's time to change. It's time to better myself. It's time to let go of people, places, things, situations, toxic energies, people that are not in your best interest that you've been holding on to for whatever reason. Relationships you haven't been able to release yourself from. A job situation. You know you hate your job, haven't been able to do shit about it right maybe it's your home situation whatever it is i feel as though you've turned a corner you're trying to change things you know it's time to let go of all this bullshit you've had to make some compromises a stack of cards flew out so let's just take a look at these yeah look at that you're tired of feeling left out in the cold you're saying fuck this it's time for me to make my life the way i want it to be that wish fulfillment is going to come from me and only me. And if shit needs to fall apart, as I come across within my own truth, may hurt people. Maybe you are the one that has been hurt where your world felt like it was falling apart. You may be going in there with that sort of truth, cutting shit out, cutting people out of your life. And having that person's or those people's world fall apart, right? Whatever it is, you finally said enough is enough. The moon card. Card of Pisces can also be Scorpio. I generally view it as a Scorpio card can be Pisces. And the Ten of Cups. So, yeah, you're going to keep doing whatever it takes to make that happy home. Emotional fulfillment. There is shit that has been weighing you down. You've just had it. Enough is enough. I'm tired of feeling emotional, despair, depressed. Look at you. All confident and shit about changing everything. Look at you. That's right. You're manifesting. You're letting go of old ways. Look at that. Success. Six of wands with the magician. You are tired of that five of cups energy. And when you go to this situation, to these people, whatever it may be, when you finally say, nope, I got bigger plans for my future. You're not part of it. This isn't part of it. None of this shit is part of it. Enough is enough with the playing games, with the toxic energy, the bullshit, you know, inconsistency, lies, cheating, whatever it may be. Apply it to your situation. You're about to uncover some major truths here. And it may leave people feeling like they want to beg for your forgiveness. They've got all these horrible, dark energies inside them. 
but it's also energy of regret and guilt, whether it's yours or the other person's. At the end of the day, you're not going to stop building and charging ahead and moving forward towards that Ten of Cups. You're not letting anything stop you. And the angels are saying, don't stop. Let go of the bullshit. Tell me exactly what does Taurus need to let go? What is Taurus letting go? Mm-hmm. Faulty foundations brings your world down, falling apart. You've been embattled. You've been resilient. But you finally said enough is enough. If this is your career, your company, your job, business ventures, finances, there is a, a, an opportunity for a financial new beginning here. I, I get the sense that you've been trying and trying and trying to get this shit to happen, but there's been too much disappointment and heartache, but you're finally seeing past that. It has, it has stopped you from moving forward. So yeah, you let shit fall apart. You're done. You're tired. You don't give a shit what you need to cut out. You're going to rush in, cut shit out, manifest this new financial new beginning, right? Could be with a queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you may have water in your chart, but there is a path here of letting go of the bullshit, letting go of the drama, the toxic partnerships, the toxic job, home life, situations, whatever it may be, right? Because what happened in last month's reading? Shady ass fucking people. Did you learn? Did you finally cut them out? Maybe you had to do a little bit of a compromise so that you end up being a winner in your book. You can give a shit about whether or not you're in a good place with them, but you've really thought about what your next step is going to be. This may involve children. This also could mean that you've had to compromise in regards to issues from the past. And you've thought about what steps needed to be taken. And you've been careful about how it will or won't affect these children. That's why you needed to compromise. Where you felt as though you couldn't compromise with them because of the children. This time you're saying, no, no, no. If we're both on the same page... And we're doing right what's right by these children or whatever situation from the past. This is what we're both going to work around. Like it or don't. Because I'm on my way out. I'm doing what I want to do. I want to do what's best for me. You're moving on. Moving forward onto calmer waters. You are so done with the drama. So done with the bullshit. Yes, you are still very guarded when it comes to this situation. But you don't give a shit. You're moving forward. Look at that. All of this speaks of letting go of that toxic situation, those people, that job, the relationships. This, is, this all reinforces one same message. Is letting it go. Healing from the bullshit. Working towards what you want. Working on bettering yourself. Moving forward for what best suits you. And not getting caught up on the drama, not getting caught up on toxic people, toxic energies, codependent relationships, people that have been using you, people that perhaps, <laughs> people that perhaps have been, you know, bringing you down and you've given them too much power to do that. So Taurus as I'm going to close out this reading, I pull a love oracle for you. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So a lot of you Taurus out there are already doing that. That's why we've got this pattern of cards, the same message, right? You're already there. You finally said enough is enough. Last month's reading hit home for you. You just said, you know, screw all this shit. I need to do what's best for me. I'm not happy with the way things are. 
these people are going to break me. These people are going to hurt me. These people are going to drain me. I'm not happy with the way things are. And you have one unifying message here. So yeah, you are definitely leaving behind what doesn't serve you. Relationships that aren't good for you. You finally saw the light. You want to make changes. And when I ask for an angel message card from Angel Celeste, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. You have great new opportunities to start over again, to have a new beginning, whether it's in love, work, business partnerships, whatever it may be, Taurus, you finally caught on to the other bullshit from other people, right? You finally caught on and you said, no, nope, no more, no more. Enough is enough. I've had it. None of this shit makes me happy. It changes who I am. I'm not okay with the way things are. And I'm going to do me. Right, Taurus? Because I definitely have a feeling that you've just had it. You've had it. You're just done with it. No more hanging on to old energies. Many of you had some codependency issues. Perhaps you felt responsible for some people in situations. Maybe if you had children with them, you just felt some sort of responsibility to that partner or ex-partner. But it wasn't about them. It was about the children. So do what's right by yourself. Do what's right by your children. Do what's going to make you happy, joyful, contentment needs to be at the forefront. And so as you are changing things about the way things have been going, you're in a process of healing and letting go. You're moving forward. You're making big, huge changes in your life. Like, forget, forget the Taurus everyone knew. This is a new Taurus coming in. You're stronger, you're clearer, you're more positive and upbeat because you're not going to let other people's bullshit hold you back anymore. So what do they need to continue healing from? Let me have a heal your message. Heal, your, heal yourself card. Come on. <laughs> when I first started shuffling these cards, a couple of them flew out. Wasn't happy. I needed to keep shuffling because I felt as though they weren't ready yet. And as much as I kept shuffling and shuffling, I got the same two cards. So... You may have sold yourself short here. To what extent, because there is a lot of codependency here, you feel responsible for someone else. So you've pretty much been the martyr. You've sold yourself short. You're going to do whatever you needed to do to make somebody else happy at what expense? At yours, right? But you're in that transition mode. You're changing things. You're changing yourself. You're changing your life. A whole new Taurus is coming. Watch out. And with that whole new Taurus that comes in, say what you mean. Say what you mean. You're starting over again. A new person. But now you got to make your boundaries, your choices, your decisions, everything that you do from here on out. You got to say what's up. You got to say it up front. You cannot be afraid and don't bend like you were always bending to accommodate others because you sold yourself out in doing that. So Taurus, that is your reading for September 2018. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box below. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can find me there, Virgo Angel Tarot at Instagram.com. 
I do daily posts and weekly live readings there. Once again, thank you so much for everyone who has supported me, liked, shared, commented, subscribed. You guys are all the best. Love readings are coming right after. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that little bell so that you get notified of when I'm uploading my next readings. Okay, so take care. Don't forget, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.